Ben Crew back here with uh, part two of my weekly bitch. Uh, right now I'm working on the uh, back issues that I picked up over the week. Uh, these next books here I picked up at a garage sale. Uh, picked them up in many, many, many other books. And it came to a little less than a dollar each for these books. All right, so I picked up Tales of the Teen Titans, number one. Hot book now, Origin of Cyborg. Another hot book here, Showcase 96, number three, First Birds of Prey, um, Deadpool 54 with the Punisher on the cover out of the second series, 54 or 55 are very hot uh, books, Deadpool number one out of the Marvel Now, Scotty Young variant, Hawkeye number one, First Print, um, the Fraction series, once again paid less than a dollar for these. Why the Last Man, number four, number three, and this is the double issue, number one and two. Still a very hard book to find, very sought after. Um, Harley Quinn, number one, once again, less than a dollar for this. This book I've been looking for for the longest time. Guardians of the Galaxy, the 2007 or 8 uh, series. This is number one, so very, very happy to have that, especially for less than a dollar. Uh, Iron Man, 128. Venom, this is the Lethal Protector, issue six, but this is the Toy Biz reprint. All right, so that, and then I picked up many, many other books uh, at that garage sale. Oh, that Wonder Woman, that, that uh, got, Gotham, Gods of Gotham, that was part of the garage sale stuff for less than a dollar. All right, so uh, Amazing Spider-Man, The Punisher, I think I paid a dollar for this thing. This is the Toy Biz reprint. No, this is not. This is the Lionsgate film. Uh, edition here and this is a double so if anybody's interested in trading um love these millenniums um so anytime i pick up find millenniums i pick them up these i bought for 50 cents or a dollar um no more than a dollar this is adventure comics uh featuring the Starman. uh here is the new teen titans number one and this one, very happy to pick up. This is the Chromium edition of the Millennium Crisis on Infinite Earths, number one. There, the, you can tell because it doesn't have the the bevel like these other ones do. They're very flat and kind of have that that glossy kind of thing to it. So if anybody has any DC Millenniums that they'd like to trade, let me know. Another books that I'm working on are the Milestone edition. Here is the Invincible Iron Man 55. That will go well with my regular 55. Iron Fist 14, another one that will go well with my regular. Uh, this one, I wish I had the, the original, but Captain American Comics. These things are very, very, not very, but they're running like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Some of them even 20. Um, Doctor Strange, I think this one will pick up some steam, I'm thinking. That's why I grabbed it. And Avengers number four. So if anybody has any of these that they would like to trade, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Some other reprints I picked up. This is Spider-Man, uh, Superman and Spider-Man. I talked about this. This is this is still a reprint. In it. There is a regular comic edition of this. There's also a pocketbook edition and a treasury edition of this book. So um, very cool. Love this book. Love the cover. And then the reprint of the... Uh, Marvel and DC Presents the Uncanny X-Men and New Teen Titans. So um, I have all three versions now of this. There's the uh, the newsstand, the direct, and then this one here. So I have all three of those. This book here, Samurai Number 1. The only reason I'm putting this up is I know that there's some Dale Keown lovers out there. If you're looking for Dale Keown's first uh, work, it's in issue number 12 or 13 of this one. But it's Samurai, and uh, look for issue, God, I want to say it's 12, but it might be 13, is Dale Keown's first work. All right. Um, picked up another Aquaman, number one, out of the new 52, and another Constantine, number one, out of the new 52, as well as Swamp Thing, number one, new 52. So these are all doubles if anybody's looking for a Constantine, Swamp Thing, or Aquaman, number one, first prints. Let me know. All right. This one I just thought was really cool. Um, this is Adventures of Superman 463. But this is the retelling of the infamous Superman Flash race. A uh, little 
different twist on it because Miss Leplick is in this, but uh, very cool nonetheless. This is a very cool book too. This one came in, I want to say 91, 92. And the reason I would uh, suggest putting this on some people's radar, or at least I liked it, is that if you liked Sandman and Death, which came in uh, uh, Sandman issue eight, and I want to say it was 91, maybe. But this has an appearance of death out of the vertigo continuity in this one right here. So if you're a death lover from uh, from uh, the Sandman and you want to see her out of continuity, this is a, it might be her first. If not, it's a very early up out of the continuity and a very early appearance of her nonetheless. Ambush bug, nothing special, number one. Um, Static. The reason I'm showing these, I already own these. This is the poly bagged regular number one. This is the other version of number one. I can't remember. And then I found the platinum edition of number one. So all three uh, versions of number one now. So happy to have those. They're not, I think this one goes for maybe 10 bucks, but the other ones are like dollar fifty cent fodder. Found on Superman, Batman, number one. Paid a dollar for that one out of the new 52. This one is one of the few books I picked up recently. Uh, it's Batman, Superman, number 11. It's the 66 uh, cover variant. So kind of cool to have that. Uh, issue number 90 out of Wonder Woman. This is the first Artemis, uh, second series, uh, Wonder Woman 90. This book goes for about 10 bucks. I think uh, it books for 10 bucks. I didn't check eBay, but um, it's uh, still a sought after book nonetheless. Uh, Batman and Superman Adventures, World's Finest. This is the official comics adaptation. This has, as you can see right there, Harley Quinn on the cover. So if you're a big Harley fan, I would suggest picking that up. That is uh, Superman, Batman, Adventures of World's Finest, the official comics adaptation. This book is pretty cool. This is from 1972. It's Grin number one. And it's kind of like an offshoot of uh, Cracked or Matter, things of that nature. But it's really cool. <laughs> the American Funny Book. Ball in the Family with Artsy Bumper, uh, exclusive The Godmother, What Really Prompted Kissinger's Trips. It's really kind of some funny stuff there. Um, and uh, so that one I was pretty happy to pick up. Anything number one from the 70s is a pretty cool thing. Um, picked up some more treasuries. Uh, the Spectacular Spider-Man. This is Marvel Special Edition uh, featuring uh, Spidey's Greatest Foes. Marvel Treasury, number six, featuring Doctor Strange. Sorry, I can't. Oh, these are, uh, the Marvel Treasury, number 17, featuring the Incredible Hulk. Sorry that this is getting kind of wobbly here. Uh, number 20 with the Hulk again. Uh, Superman versus Shazam. That one I'm very happy to have. Look at that cover on that, huh? Is that not cool or what, huh? Oh, I love that cover. All right. Um, more Secret Origins of Supervillains. Uh, first edition Superman. I think I might have shown this one already, maybe. No, I haven't. There was another uh, first edition of Superman that I had, a different one. It looked like this one here. Wiz Comics, uh, number one reprint, first editions, famous first edition. Uh, Superman Salutes the Bicentennial. This is back, obviously, from 76. Uh, famous editions, Wonder Woman, number one. Famous editions, All-Star Comics, number three. And Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. This is a limited collector's edition. C49. I love me some Legion of Superheroes. And the last one is Flash Comics Famous First Edition number one. So, yeah. So this is Vin Crew saying thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who did a trade with me. I appreciate that so very, very much. And, uh, um, I had...
been having problems responding to people's videos. So just a few days ago, I've been able to start responding to people's videos. So if I was not responding to your videos, it does not mean that I was not watching them. I, I was, even though it was kind of hard to watch them there for a while because YouTube was making me, it's a long story. It was just really messing with me. But anyway, um, so I have been watching everybody's videos. So as usual, I learn a lot from all of you guys, and I thank you so much. Uh, ben Crew signing off.